I don't think that uh, my wife would change carpets at home with, with the bulldozer. I, you know, I know one has to do that. <laughs> Looking forward to your talk. I'll take your book. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Jordan, don't worry about that. Okay. It does make a good plan. Well, I'll use it for a while. Uh, Are you ready? Yes. Thank you so much for doing this for me. I hate to interrupt the schedule. Right. Would you? Yes, please. Just probably like this much, not a work. Let me find your third equipment in the background. Is this okay? <laughs> yeah, it's fine. It's perfect. Just don't look directly at the light. It's kind of blinding. Okay. So, <laughs> for your own eyesight, try not to look at that. There. Well, look at you. Yes, you, you can look at mind. me. If you don't mind. I don't mind at all. All right. She's I'll also probably... one of our students up at the university. Yes. Excellent. So, she's doing this on the side. Oh, yeah. Doing all kinds of different things. Uh, I'm sure you're busier than I am, though. <laughs> all righty. Mic check. Okay. Here we go. I'll back you up a little more. Here I am. Here you are. All right. So if you wouldn't mind pronouncing your name for me. I'm Gabriel Barkai from Jerusalem, Israel. All right. And are you yeah. a biblical archaeologist? I'm uh, dealing with biblical archaeology and especially with the archaeology of Jerusalem for the last 50 years. I'm happy to be here, first time in Kentucky. Do you like it so much? I like it very much, especially after the ordeal I had on my way coming here. What happened? I had a series of delays and bad attitude of the flight company and all, all that was really terrible and the love of the people here is incredible. I'm very, very happy to be here. I feel like flights always have problems like that. There's always something going on, some delays or something like that. And it never happened to me before. It never happened, only this time. <laughs> only this time, somehow. So how did you end up here in Pikeville? I was invited by uh, uh, Tommy uh, uh, Chamberlain. Chamberlain, who is the uh, head of the uh, Association of Alumni of uh, uh, Pikeville University, and uh, I'm full with appreciation to him for this opportunity to get here. And how did the first event go today? Uh, we had some students there, and it was, uh, uh, from my side, it was very interesting, and uh, people showed much interest, and they showed uh, uh, deep uh, emotional involvement with uh, whatever goes on in Jerusalem. And uh, what will you be speaking about tonight? What will be the main purpose of your speech? It is uh, about the Temple Mount Sifting Project, which we uh, conduct for the last 10 years. It is uh, uh, scrutinizing uh, enormous quantities of soil, which was illicitly removed from the Temple Mount. And uh, that uh, soil includes in it uh, uh, artifacts from the history of Jerusalem. Actually, that soil is saturated with the history of Jerusalem. And uh, we have hundreds of thousands of finds from uh, that soil. And we are now in the process of uh, uh, studying the material and uh, getting the scholarly, uh, um, scholarly uh, investigation concerning these finds and the uh, uh, processing of the material, and that costs money. And we are trying also to raise funds uh, to finance the lab we, we established for studying the uh, objects which came up in the uh, sifting project. All that was uh, thanks to uh, about a quarter of a million of volunteers that we had uh, through this last uh, 10 years participating in the sifting project. Among them, there were many people from Kentucky. I even saw some people here today uh, who participated in the sifting project in Jerusalem. So I came here uh, appreciating all those people who came and uh, uh, contributed to the uh, uh, sifting project. And I'm very happy here to be uh, uh, trying to uh, raise funds for more uh, help towards the processing of the material. 
And what other avenues have you taken to raise the money other than here? What other stuff have you done? Uh, about $370,000 were already paid by uh, different contributors, uh, both uh, public bodies as well as individuals. Most of it comes from individuals. And uh, I'm uh, wholeheartedly uh, uh, thanking them from the bottom of my heart. Uh, it's, it couldn't take place without them. Mm -hmm. Do you need them? Okay, I heard the door open. I didn't know if you were coming to get them or not. Water. water. Would you want some water? No. Okay. Um, so I'm trying to think of one more question to ask you. How did you get involved with this project? How did you first hear about it? Actually, I'm directing the project since it was uh, uh, incepted. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm directing it as a result of two of my former students who uh, one day showed up in my place at home and uh, uh, they came with finds uh, that they collected on the surface of some dumping site where too this uh, soil from Temple Mount was taken. And they urged me to go to the university authorities and then the whole thing developed and we have a successful project which goes on for 10 years already. It is the most exposed archaeological project in the whole world. And how long do you think it's going to take to complete the project? Uh, it seems that we finished already sifting through about half of the uh, soil that uh, was removed from the Temple Mount, so it will take approximately 10 more years or so. And for me personally, it is an omen for longevity. I agree with that. That's all the questions that I have for you. Thank you Thank so much. You. you did a great job. I can't wait to Welcome. hear you speak in there. Thank you. You'll do a great